Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. In this video I will show you exactly how to create the amazing memory slideshow with this style. When you were born, your mama said, the Lord bless you and keep you, and everything that you do take heart. When you were eight, your daddy said, never take your life for granted. So for you to understand well, I have divided this video into three steps. So make sure you don't miss any of the steps, and also before the end I will show you other smooth animations option to better your slideshow. So here is our first step. Drag all the images for your first scene, one after the other. So as you have seen my preview has three scenes, yet it's the same skill you can use to create all of them, so I'll just teach you one example. Then go to stock media and drag a white image below our images. Double click and unlock the scale from here. Now extend the image to the duration of all the images above. Double click the first image and reduce the scale like this. Around 65%. Now click the white image and customize it from the preview window like this. So you can also make different sizes like on this next image. Use Alt or C to go pan and zoom. So I will change this to custom, then crop it like this. Then OK. Again I will reduce the scale. Customize the white image, which is serving as our frame. I will fast forward the process on the remaining three. Now add a quick text on the track above. Extend it. Double click the text and go advanced. I write something like the date. And change the color to black. Or dark gray. Then move the text to the top left of the frame. Change this font to this one, Kandara. Add another quick text. Change the font to this one, Arizona Regular. Then I will move it to the middle like this. Then write the name. Some of these customizations you can do according to your liking. Apply. Now you split this text according to each image. Then you can change the details on every text according to the name of the person in the image.
you also need to adjust the text size to fit the size of that specific image. So now, go file and click project settings, then set to maximum quality. Then take the screenshots of all the images. Now delete everything in the timeline. Then I will drag this video here to use as a background. You can search for it on pixels for free. Now drag down your first screenshot and customize it like this. Take the following and customize it like this. Now watch as I do the other three. This is just the end of the first step, which was the framing, giving titles and positioning. Now the second step. Now move back the image that will appear first, then if you follow me along in counting frames, you must set your project to 25 FPS. So I want the whole animation to take around 18 frames, so right here. Add a keyframe here, then 7 frames back. Increase the image scale like this, to 86. You can also change its position. Then move your keyframe to the first frame and again increase the scale to around 157. So the trick here is to bring the image, with a normal speed, then make it fast on the few remaining frames. Now go to transition and drag down the dissolve. Reduce the transition duration to 5 seconds. Now move the next image 6 seconds after the first one. So now I am going to repeat the same animation process to all the remaining images, so keep watching for the next important step. Now go to the effects and look for the grainy effect. Move it 3 seconds after this text. Double click the effect and add a keyframe after the 7th frame. Set the intensity to 0.5. Then angle to 50 and then smoothness to 1. We are done with our effect, but before we close step 2, supposing you are creating this third scene. The first thing is to arrange your images like this. To save your time, I won't arrange them exactly. Now drag the white image on the top track. Double click and reduce this image to 15. Now you can take a screenshot of this. Then you can animate this one image the way I will show you in step 3. So this is just the end of step 2, and we have animated the background images and added the effect. On the step 3, now drag the screenshot images you need on the foreground of this scene. You can make them two like this, or one, or even three. For the animation of this image. Now in this version of Filmora, we can't ease in and ease out keyframes for smooth animations. So I would like to show you other animations which can be smoother, and even suit this kind of a slideshow, just as I promised earlier in this video. So here you double click your foreground image and go animation. Then select this option. 
Now here I have only checked 4 presets which can suit this type of slideshow in a better way. That's zoom in to the bottom and zoom in to the top. To the left and to the right too. You can still try other ones and see which ones can fit the best. So I will just use zoom in for this example. Now before the preview, let's cut everything on the same frame. Then add a dissolve transition on the top image. Then make it 6 seconds. Now copy and paste it on other images. Let's render for a smooth preview. If you got any value from this video friends, just give a like, and kindly subscribe. You can check one of those two videos for more value.